What's going on YouTube? This is Ultimate Eye Device Vids, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys some information regarding the current jailbreak situation that we're in right now, and that's for iOS 8.3 and 8.4 Beta 1. So Stefan Esser, aka Ionic, has posted a video of his iPhone 6 Plus running iOS 8.4 Beta 1 jailbroken with Cydia installed, and I'm going to be discussing what that means for the future of jailbreaking. And for those of you who don't know, Stefan Esser is a security researcher who is well known in the jailbreak community. Also, uh, with the Apple Watch starting to ship, uh, jailbreakers who want to use the Apple Watch do have a dilemma. And I'm going to be discussing again all that in this video. And with all that being said, let's get right into it. Alright, so first up I want to talk about Ionic's video. I will have the direct link to his video in the description down below. And as I said earlier, it's him with an iPhone 6 Plus on 8.4 Beta 1, showing that you know he is running it. He opens up the Apple Watch app, which is only present in iOS 8.2 and above. He also shows the new music app in 8.4 Beta 1, which has been redesigned. And you know he opens Cydia, proves that he is jailbroken. Now, what does this mean for the world of jailbreaking? Unfortunately, it's extremely unlikely that you're ever going to see a release from him. Recently, in the past few years, Ionic has been known to tease jailbreaks on YouTube, Twitter, but never actually release anything. And the reason for that is he doesn't agree with everything that happens within the jailbreak community. He has some issues with it. And obviously, that's completely his choice, so I'm not going to judge him for that, and neither should you. He's allowed to do whatever he wants with his work. You know, he's this is just a proof of concept video showing that he could do it. He's showing the world of security that it is possible possible to do. And again, it's not you know, he's not obligated to release this, of course, it's his own work. He just generally thinks, as far as I can tell, that the jailbreak community is a bunch of ungrateful people who, you know, don't appreciate the work that jailbreak developers provide. And, you know, I think there's people in the jailbreak community who are like that, but I really do not think the overall jailbreak community is like that. But obviously, that's his opinion, so he could do whatever he wants with this jailbreak. And, you know, it's he's not obligated, again, to do anything with it. And of course, while it is exciting to see that a jailbreak is possible, again, don't get your hopes up for a release. You know, the people who are going to release this are most likely going to be the Taiji team or the Pangu team who brought us the two previous jailbreaks. When newer members of the jailbreak community come into the scene, you know, let's say they came in this year and they see Ionic's video, they might just think that, you know, he's going to release it because they don't know his track record within the past couple of years. And I just want to let everybody know that, again, it's most likely not going to be released. Or, you know, you should be waiting on other people to release this, for example, Taiji or Pangu. Alright, and next I want to talk about the situation that jailbreakers are in right now in regards to the Apple Watch. So Apple did start shipping out Apple Watches on April 24th yesterday, and obviously it's going to take a long time for everyone who ordered to get one. For example, mine's not coming till June or early May, but I know hopefully it'll come earlier. But either way, you know, they did start shipping out, and anybody who wants to use the Apple Watch will need an iPhone 5 or uh, above and it needs to be running iOS 8.2 or higher and that's extremely disappointing because iOS 8.2 and above as of right now none of those versions are jailbreakable so if you're currently jailbroken and you want to use an Apple watch you're gonna to have to update to iOS 8.2 or above and the reason for that is um, on those for firmwares there is this application the Apple watch app as you can see and this is required in order to use the watch you need to hit start pairing and then you align your watch with it and it'll pair and everything will work but unfortunately again you're going to need to be running iOS 8.2 or above in order to use an Apple watch and you know that's extremely you know bad for jailbreakers because you'll have to update if you want to use your watch with your phone and in order to use an Apple watch you must have an iPhone to pair it with and for somebody like me, this isn't really an issue because I have so many devices, I could just pair one with the Apple Watch and keep all the others jailbroken. But for most people, you know, who only have one device, this is very troubling, you know, for jailbreakers because they're forced to update if they want to use the latest Apple device. However, with that being said, it's not completely bad because with, you know, so many people upgrading and losing their jailbreaks, um, the desire for a jailbreak is much greater and, you know, that could uh, make the jailbreak teams a little bit more motivated to release a jailbreak because so many people are in need of it and therefore it could come faster. So just the, you know, the mass of people who've lost their jailbreaks and are going to be losing their jailbreaks in the near future, you know, they could motivate jailbreak teams to release a jailbreak sooner. However, that's just purely my speculation and there's nothing, you know, backing that up. That's just, you know, generally I would think how these things work. You know, if there's a lot of people wanting it, there's tons of desire, you know, you're most likely going to be getting it sooner. So again, unfortunately, if you're going to be getting an Apple Watch and you only have one iPhone, you're going to be forced to update to iOS 8.2 or higher you know, in order to actually use the watch. 
Hopefully someone will release a new jailbreak before the majority of people start getting their Apple Watches in May and June. And so let's just hope that that does happen. Um, and as always with jailbreaking, it's not a question of if, it's just a question of when. And if, if you guys are wondering if this jailbreak is going to be released for iOS 8.3 or if they're going to wait until 8.4, um, it's really hard to tell. But just keep in mind, as time progresses and as iOS 8.3 gets older and older, the more and more likely you know that it gets that it's going to be released for 8.4. Because obviously, you know, if a jailbreak were to be uh, if a jailbreak were to be released, um, you know, right before 8.4 is going to come out for 8.3, uh, it would be patched quicker. So you know, it's really hard to see right now. And of course, we're just going to have to wait. And that wraps up all the news that I'm going to be talking to you guys about in this video. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like its Facebook page, and add it to one of your circles in Google+. Also, be sure to follow my personal Twitter account, and all that will be linked down below in the description. And of course, whenever this jailbreak does come out, I'll be sure to make a tutorial for you guys showing you how to do it from beginning to end, as always. And the same thing goes with news. When any new news comes out, I'll be sure to make another one of these videos just letting you know what's going on. And again, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.